Greetings, in today's video we will discuss the book Steal Like an Artist, by Austin Kleon. Stay with me till the end of video for some applications in management and bonus fun facts. Steal Like an Artist is a self-help book for creatives, designed to help readers unlock their creativity and develop their own unique style. The central premise of the book is that no artist creates in a vacuum, and that all creative work builds upon the work that has come before it. The author encourages readers to embrace their influences and to steal from other artists, using their work as a jumping off point for their own ideas. He also emphasizes the importance of cultivating good work habits, such as taking breaks, establishing a routine, and keeping a notebook or journal to capture ideas. Throughout the book, Cleon shares insights and advice on a variety of topics, including finding inspiration and coming up with new ideas, overcoming creative blocks and staying motivated, developing your own style and voice as an artist, navigating the creative process and turning your ideas into finished work, sharing your work with others and building a community around your art. Overall, Steal Like an Artist is a fun, inspiring, and practical guide for anyone looking to tap into their creativity and develop their skills as an artist. Here's a more detailed summary of Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon, chapter by chapter. Chapter 1, Steal Like an Artist. The author argues that all artists steal from other artists, and that this is a natural and necessary part of the creative process. He encourages readers to study their favorite artists, learn from their work, and then use this knowledge to develop their own unique style. Chapter 2, Don't Wait Until You Know Who You Are To Get Started. The author emphasizes the importance of starting small and allowing yourself to evolve over time. He suggests that new artists focus on creating work that they enjoy, rather than trying to conform to others' expectations. Chapter 3, Write the Book You Want to Read. The author encourages readers to create the kind of work they would want to consume as a reader or viewer. He suggests that artists should aim to fill the gaps they see in the art world and create work that speaks to their own interests and passions. Chapter 4, Use Your Hands. The author argues that creating with your hands can be a powerful way to tap into your creativity and explore new ideas. He encourages readers to try different art forms, such as drawing, painting, or collage, and to experiment with different materials. Chapter 5, Side Projects and Hobbies are Important. The author suggests that having side projects and hobbies can be a valuable way to explore new ideas and keep your creativity fresh. He argues that pursuing creative interests outside of your primary focus can actually improve your main work. Chapter 6, The Secret do good work and share it with people. The author emphasizes the importance of creating high-quality work and sharing it with others. He suggests that by putting your work out into the world, you can build an audience and connect with other artists and creatives. Chapter 7, Geography is no longer our master. The author argues that in the digital age, artists are no longer limited by geography and can connect with others from around the world. He suggests that artists should take advantage of online platforms to share their work and connect with other creatives. Chapter 8, Be Nice, The World is a Small Town. The author encourages readers to be kind and respectful to others, both online and offline. He suggests that building relationships and supporting others can help you succeed as an artist. Chapter 9, Be Boring, It's the Only Way to Get Work Done. The author argues that establishing a routine and sticking to it can be a powerful way to stay productive and make progress on your creative projects. He encourages readers to find a schedule that works for them and to create a dedicated workspace for their art. Chapter 10, Creativity is Subtraction. The author suggests that sometimes the key to creating great work is to remove elements rather than add them. He encourages readers to simplify their ideas and focus on what's essential, Overall, Steal Like an Artist is a practical, inspiring guide for anyone looking to tap into their creativity and develop their skills as an artist. While Steal Like an Artist is primarily focused on creativity and the art world, there are some management skills that can be gleaned from the book as well. Here are a few ways that the book's principles can be applied to management. Embrace your influences. The book emphasizes the importance of studying your favorite artists and learning from their work.
In a management context, this could mean studying the work of successful leaders or companies, and applying their strategies to your own work. Start small and evolve over time. The book encourages readers to start small and allow themselves to evolve over time. In a management context, this could mean starting with small projects and gradually building up to larger ones, or starting with a small team and expanding over time. Pursue your passions. The book emphasizes the importance of pursuing your passions and interests in your art. In a management context, this could mean focusing on projects that you are passionate about, or finding ways to align your work with your personal values and interests. Share your work with others. The book emphasizes the importance of sharing your work with others, as a way to build an audience and connect with other artists and creatives. In a management context, this could mean sharing your work with colleagues or superiors, as a way to build relationships and gain recognition for your achievements. Establish a routine. The book argues that establishing a routine and sticking to it can be a powerful way to stay productive and make progress on your creative projects. In a management context, this could mean establishing a regular schedule for meetings and work activities, and sticking to it as much as possible. Overall, while, Steel Like an Artist, is primarily focused on creativity and the art world, many of its principles can be applied to management as well, particularly in terms of pursuing your passions, establishing routines, and sharing your work with others. Bonus, a few fun facts about the book, Steel Like an Artist. The book's author, Austin Kleon, created a blackout poetry style that has become quite popular. Blackout poetry involves taking a page from a book or newspaper and blacking out most of the words with a marker, leaving only a few select words visible to create a new poem. The book was inspired by a talk that Cleon gave to a group of students at a community college in upstate New York. The talk was called, 10 Things I Wish I'd Heard When I Was in College, and it covered many of the same topics as the book. Cleon encourages readers to steal from other artists and creatives as a way to find inspiration and develop their own style. However, he also emphasizes the importance of giving credit to the original source of the idea or inspiration. The book has been translated into over 20 languages, including Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, and French. Steel Like an Artist has been widely praised by other authors and creatives, including Seth Godin, Stephen Pressfield, and Daniel Pink. It has also been featured in a number of publications, including The New York Times and The Wall Street Journal. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check my other videos.